Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Design. Well, let's talk about the tropics because I know that has been a big conversation online and it's been floating around, but let's get to the facts of what you need to know so that you can stay weather aware and not get too concerned about things that may not be there just yet. So let me step out and show you the big scope of the Atlantic Basin right now. Anything from Franklin eastward back towards Africa, there is nothing that we have to worry about, including Franklin. We've got to talk about what's happening in the Gulf. That's our main focus over the next several days here. As we're watching an area disturbance, a wave here in the Bay of Campeche on the northwestern side of the Caribbean Sea here, that's the area that we're going to be watching over the next couple of days as the environment, based on what I've looked at, data from the National Hurricane Center, is showing that would be favorable for continued to de uh, development. Right now, over the next few days, there's about an 80% chance that this forms into a tropical feature. Now watch what we're going to be looking at with Futurecast here. We're going to be looking at two different pieces of data. High resolution that goes all the way out to Sunday. Then we have to convert that over to a little bit more of a coarse resolution. But I want to the big point is to show you kind of the timing of how this is going to play out. At this point, we're looking at all the way into Sunday. You notice there's not a lot of movement with this system. So throughout this entire weekend, Everything that we're going to be doing in Florida is going to be focusing on just some sea breeze showers, and that is it, and that's limited. Then we've got the heat and humidity, while this is still trying to brew up as it continues to move northward. Now, as we move into Monday, I have to convert this over to our secondary data, but everything has been fairly consistent with how this is expected to play out. It will continue to lift northward into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and then continue to strengthen. The waters are favorable, unfortunately, but this is kind of where things get a little bit on the not so confident side. We're still seeing an increasing likelihood that a possible tropical storm will be developing here to the strength we don't know yet. But as far as the way it will track, the core of this system has an area either into the western end of the panhandle or even along I-4 near Tampa back up towards Orlando. So that is a large scope that we still haven't narrowed down quite just yet. But even then, don't focus on the core so much, but just note that we're likely seeing this is a trajectory of what may play out towards the middle of next week. That's the target time frame that we're looking at. 